Guess who's back? 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 Hey guys, Marco here, and as I'm sure you can tell from the intro, I'm back, baby! Woohoo! And I'm excited to be back. I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I know I did. I hope you have many dreams and aspirations for the upcoming year and the upcoming years to come. Myself, one of these dreams, aspirations, kind of goals to give myself was to slowly start introducing myself back into the YouTube world, back into making, I guess, more consistent videos. And this will be, I guess, the first of this turning of a new leaf for myself and this channel as a whole. And what I mean by that is bringing back one of my favorite series that I did prior. I did about three episodes of it. It was called Let's Talk, which is just me kind of sitting down in the camera as I'm doing now, talking about random topics and answering some of your guys' questions. So I'm excited to bring it back. I hope you guys are excited to have it come back. I got my laptop here with my notes, my questions, just like we used to back in the day. We're going to bring it back and just really push this new idea of, or not this new idea, but this, again, this goal I'm trying to set for myself this year in terms of making more content, making consistent content, and slowly turning this channel into the channel that I want it to be. And you may say to yourself, like, Marco, where do you see this channel going? You've had a lot of time to kind of sit in between. Like, the last time I've actually sat here in front of a camera and talked to you guys was about a year ago with the last Let's Talk. I, uh, I've, I've made videos in between that period, but it's been like pet projects, short films, stuff along those lines where I've never actually been able to to talk to you guys. And I miss it because it's just, it's so calming. It's so nice to just kind of sit here, talk about stuff I want to talk about, express my opinions. And I needed that kind of balance back in, in terms of creative projects, but also at the same time, just expressing my opinion in kind of a, a more relaxed way, which I'm, I'm excited to bring that back for this case. But in terms of where I'm where I'm thinking this channel is going to go and what I want it to be ultimately comes back to the fact that I really don't, I really don't ultimately see myself as a YouTuber. I guess you could say I don't have, I don't have, or I don't want to be someone who vlogs every single day, vlogs my life, everything along those lines. It's, it's not what I want to do, right? I see, I see YouTube as a platform to share projects and to share you know, the videos and everything that I make and connect with you guys and expand kind of my my creative network in terms of that. And that's what I really want to push towards this new season, this new era of my channel and really push that movement forward, I guess. I've been doing a lot of traveling and like little adventures over the past year or so, being able to experience all these new things. And in that realm, I'm able to make these travel videos or these travel little experiences, which I post Either those or like little photos on my Instagram at the Marco Pereira, at the Marco Pereira. In case you're not following me there, please give me a follow. Again, I want to create this connection between all social media platforms and just get everyone kind of connected in that regard. But I found passion in that traveling, in that travel video making. So I want to draw that into this channel. Obviously, filmmaking, which I love, the creative filmmaking, especially. Even some of that like corporate video stuff, which I've been doing a lot through school and just like other, you know, projects that I've been doing. Also in terms of films, talking about them, talking about, you know, that industry, where it's going and kind of everything that's happening in my life, right? So again, looking at it and having the time to think about it, what I've come to realization over the last little bit is one, I'm not a YouTuber. I see this as a platform to share awesome content and I want to share awesome content and make a platform that kind of connects all my videos and all my social media. So I'm trying to expand on that. That is my goal for this year. And by doing that, I want to have travel stuff, which I will definitely be doing a lot more this year coming because 2018, 2018 was an awesome year. I know a lot of people said they don't, or a lot of people always say, oh, I can't wait for 2018 or whatever year we're in to be over. But for me, it was an awesome year. I've been to some awesome places spent time with awesome people. I've just experienced so many awesome new things and I can't wait for doing more of it in 2019. And by doing that, by sharing those experiences on this platform and by sharing with you guys, I hope I can 
not just create that platform and that experience, that whole network that I want to, but create just a, a good visual experience for yourself, for myself, and for everyone watching. That's my goal for 2019. So this is where it starts. Let's continue from here and hopefully let's keep it going for the rest of the year. So that's kind of where I want this channel, this kind of Marco Pereira name to go. In terms of how I'm gonna get there, the schedule is gonna kind of look like this. The Let's Talk series coming back, as I said, I'm really excited to bring that back. We're gonna stick it to a few topics, few questions, kind of get to know myself, my thought process, everything I'm working on at the moment, blah, blah, blah. That's gonna be the Let's Talk. We're gonna try to do that once a week. Should school, should life get really busy and I miss it every now and again, I'm sorry, but for now, I'm gonna stick to the once a week. I'm gonna try my best to do it. And even if I'm, even if I'm on the other side of a country for one week, like I have a phone here. So all I have to do is just like film myself and put something up. And it's like, I, I can make a video out of that. And there's, there's something about putting that effort in and even putting out something that, that might not be up to my perfectionist standards, but still making that awesome content and connecting with you guys that I'm excited for. And again, gonna try to do this weekly. If it doesn't, should something come up, you'll understand, I'll let you guys know. But for now, I'm excited to make this a weekly thing. Other than that, videos on the other hand will come in terms of pet projects, filmmaking, short films, whatever I'm working on at the moment, I will share with you guys. And just kind of, you know, share with what I'm working with. Again, I said it's a platform to share my content. That's what I want to do. That stuff can come really no schedule in terms of that, but that's why we have the Let's Talk to keep the schedule, to keep the organization, and at least keep something to, you know, get to, to, to tease you a little bit each and every, each and every single week, which uh, will get you guys coming back, get you guys excited to tune in every week. So that's the plan for the upcoming bit. I think, yeah, I think that's, I think that's everything I wanted to cover channel update wise, right? Figuring out blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Okay. So we, we talked about where the channel is going to go, kind of what the schedule is going to look like for the next little bit. But this last little segment, usually I'll answer a few questions or whatever. <laughs> and since the last Let's Talk I did was a year ago, I figured I can answer some of the questions from that Let's Talk a year ago. So let's get into them. Lucas Manders writes, hello again, my friend, great content. Hopefully this can be a weekly thing. This is for you, buddy. You're welcome. <laughs> he asks, favorite Christmas movie, favorite movie teaser slash trailer, best sports movie, best superhero movie of 2017, and thoughts on the college strike? That's quite a few questions, I'm not gonna lie, but since I feel like I owe it to you guys for not uploading a Let's Talk for over a year now, I'm gonna answer them all just for you guys, because I love you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, here we go, rapid fire, let's go. Favorite Christmas movie? I'm gonna go to my faithful trusty app Letterboxd and see whichever ones I have over there. Again, not sponsored by Letterboxd, would love to be. So if Letterboxd, you're watching this, love to be sponsored by you. It's a movie, journal, diary kind of website. Absolutely awesome. My favorite Christmas movies, um, the four that I had up there were Home Alone, Elf, uh, Jingle All The Way, <laughs> love Jingle All The Way. And one that I held really soft in my heart, I loved ever since I was a child, Jack Frost, Michael Keaton. Some people may say it's a bad movie, but I absolutely love it. Favorite movie teaser trailer, one that really stands out to me over the last little bit, over the last, I guess, three, four years, I guess you could say, was Nocturnal Animals. If you know me, I don't really watch trailers. They spoil everything for the most part, so I just don't watch them. I'll usually watch them after the movie, which is pretty funny. But the Nocturnal Animals trailer I watched after the movie didn't spoil a thing. It was intense, dramatic, and with like very little dialogue. Those are the trailers I like. So Nocturnal Animals stands out for me for that. Best sports movie, you know me, I love sports. One or a few that really stand out to me, I would say are 2013's uh, Rush by Ron Howard. Love it, love the tension between the two characters. And it made race car driving so cool. I'm not the biggest fan, but I loved it. Uh, another one that I really liked because it wasn't more it wasn't just about the sports like Rush, it was about the characters, the, the whole thought process behind it all was Moneyball. Love Moneyball. Bring the math and everything into it. You didn't, you wouldn't think it's interesting, but it actually really is. And one that I always will hold a very soft spot in my heart for is Kicking and Screaming. Being, uh, you know, being in a North American society growing up playing soccer, love that movie. But also like Warrior, boxing movies like that, I love, but those are just a few that I really like. Best superhero movie of 2017? 
I'm going to say, again, back to Letterbox because I don't remember all this stuff. Um, on my list here... Ooh, that's an interesting one. Thor Ragnarok is actually the highest superhero, uh, superhero rated movie for me this year. Bumps out Logan by just a little bit, but Thor Ragnarok was... Thor Ragnarok was awesome. Everything you want in a comic book movie. And a movie in general. Like, it perfectly knows what it wants to be. And finally, thoughts on the college strike. Um, when I stopped the Let's Talk last year, it was around the time college came back as my college went on strike for, you know, reasons, blah, 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 blah. It was garbage. We went on strike for a while. And at that point, by the time we went back, the workload, the schedule, everything got screwed up. So it really ruined what I wanted to keep doing and it just it, it screwed up the rest of the semester and the year everything got pushed back it sucked I'm glad it's over school's fine now no strikes or anything but it sucked when it was there yeah it really sucks <laughs> Trevor Reed writes are you planning on seeing Justice League Ooh, this is actually really funny because Aquaman just came out and <laughs> sorry Trevor but I have yet to see both Justice League and Aquaman Sorry. Honestly, I'm not. When Justice League came out, I had no interest in seeing it. Then I heard it was really bad or, you know, just mediocre. Still didn't want to see it. Not that I heard Aquaman or quote my friend Andre here. <laughs> this one's for you, buddy. It is the most ambitious movie he's ever seen. <laughs> if, if Andre's saying that, I've got to see it. And because I'm probably going to see it with the next little bit, probably on a Tuesday, half off or whatever, I'm probably going to try and see Justice League prior. But I've yet to see either, so I can't comment on them. Sorry, buddy. Eli Sanchez writes, Hey, Marco, great video. I enjoyed it. And then he goes on to write about 10 or so questions afterwards. We're going to knock them out rapid fire. Ready? Let's go. What's your favorite directors? For me, Christopher Nolan, David Fincher, and Damien Chazelle are three that really stand out to me in terms of some of my favorite movies, what I achieved to do in terms of perfection with David Fincher and the young upcoming uh, director of Damien Chazelle. Which are your favorite TV series? For me, the one that always hit me the hardest and always I think will is Breaking Bad. Obviously, I love SpongeBob behind you there. Mr. Robot, I'm a big fan of as well. Do you know slash like Twin Peaks? I have heard of it. I've just sadly never watched it, never had the time and maybe not the interest. If ever it came across my plate and I had an open plate to watch it, maybe I would, but as for now, never seen it. To what kind of music are you listening to? Specific bands slash artists? This is really convenient that you ask this now because Spotify just came out with like your top 2018, whatever you were listening to. So I'm just gonna read those off to you and you know, you can take them as you wish. Ready? Number one was Matt and Kim, a great duo from New York. Absolutely love them. Check them out if you want. Next up is Avicii. Rest in peace, my friend. Rest in peace. Fantastic. Um, Passion Pit was next, followed by Ed Sheeran and Two Door Cinema Club. All great bands. Kind of that indie genre with some electro, some pop, some kind of, you know, just, you know, easy songs, cool songs, which I like. Everything along those lines. Do you like video games? Hell yes, I do. I'm actually currently playing Spyro, the Reignited Trilogy on the PS4. Awesome. My sister got it for me for Christmas. She knows how much I love Spyro. It's awesome so far. Recently just finished playing Spider-Man as well. Awesome game. Ah, awesome game. Ah, awesome game. Awesome game. Uh, but yeah, I love video games. They're fun. Do you smoke? No, never have, never will. <laughs> How often do you go to the cinema? It really depends on the time of year. Uh, usually around summertime or around this time of the year, the Oscar year, Oscar season, I guess, best of the year. Um, I'll usually be there about once a week, once every two weeks, week and a half or whatever, just because everything's always coming out at this point. Uh, some of the off seasons though, like January, February, you know, September, October-ish, when not as much is coming out, maybe not as often, but yeah, I, I'm usually there about once, once a week, once every two weeks, yeah. Where do you live? I live in Canada, woo, T-Dot baby, around the Toronto area is kind of where I live. What is your origin? That is a funny question, like... I don't know if you're talking about my life story, because that could be a whole nother video on its own, so I'm not going to go into that. But origin itself, I assume you mean like background. Again, I live in Canada. Um, I'm Portuguese and Italian, though, in terms of my background. So hopefully that answers your question. So yeah, I think that wraps up this episode of Let's Talk. It was awesome. Great to be back. Great to talk to you guys. Great to read your questions. Thank you for leaving them. Leave some more if you guys want to know. Let's talk about traveling. Let's talk about filmmaking. Movies coming out. 
what plans are for the future, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to just talk to you guys again and make a series where I can interact with you guys. Again, where the channel's going, I hope you guys are on board with it. I hope you guys like kind of what I'm planning. I have other stuff coming out as well. Hopefully, maybe see some more videos coming out pretty soon, depending on when I can edit those. We'll see what's happening with school and how busy I am. But I'll try my best to, and when I am done, obviously I'll upload them over here. But as for that, I think that's about it. This is, it's, it, it's, it's fun. It's honestly, I'm glad to be back, and I'm glad that, or I hope that you're glad that I'm back. I hope. <laughs> if not... It's totally cool. Let bygones be bygones, but I'm excited to bring this back and I, I can't wait for 2019 and not just this series as a whole, but everything that's going to happen in 2019. I'm excited. So other than that, you know how the drill goes. I'm Marco Pereira. It's been a pleasure talking to you and I will see you next week. <laughs> don't know what day I'm going <laughs> to, don't know what day I'm going to upload on. I'll find that out soon. But I will see you next week. And as always, ciao for now. Boo! I remembered how to sign up. Yes!